Have you ever had the experience where there's something right in front of your eyes and you don't even notice it? Or if you do notice it, maybe you don't really pay attention to how big of an influence this has in your life or how big of a part of this thing that you actually play. I want to tell you guys a quick story about drug rehab. <laughs> My husband and I met in drug rehab. But here's the thing. I was a counselor and he was a direct care staff member. So we were both staff at the drug rehab, but it makes a good story either way. So he and I worked together in this awesome drug rehab facility for teenage kids who had just struggled. Like they've just had a unfortunate lot in life or they've made some bad decisions. And this is the place where they come to change, come to make better decisions, to set themselves up for success in the future. <clears throat> so he and I got to play a pivotal role in these kids' lives. And it was super, super rewarding work. I absolutely loved working there. And we worked there the whole time we were dating and until after we had actually gotten married. And one day the kids liked to read the newspaper there. And one day um, we had put our uh, engagement announcement when he and I got engaged into the newspaper. <clears throat> and one of the kids was reading the newspaper <laughs> and they knew both of us, obviously, because we worked with them. And the kid looks at the picture and he goes, holy cow. I'm, I'm not going to say names on this show. I'm going to, I'm going to talk about a lot of different people, but I'm going to save names. So I'm just not going to say names, but he goes, holy cow, this guy's getting married and his wife is a babe. And I'm sitting there right in front of these kids as he's saying this. He has no idea that I am the wife. <laughs> he had no clue that I am the girl that he's talking about, but he's telling me that the girl in this picture he's looking at is a babe. I was dying laughing. This is a perfect example of a time in life where it was right in front of him, quite literally, and he couldn't see it. There was a connection being made that was obvious in the universe, but for him, that connection wasn't happening. And he did not see the fact that the girl in the picture was the girl in the room that he was telling this to. Hey, he's getting married and his wife is a babe. Guy, I'm the wife. <laughs> It was so funny. All the other kids in the room got it so that he got, he got a little teased, but it was super funny. This is a great example of those times where something is right in front of you and you just don't acknowledge it or recognize it, or you're just missing it a little bit. How many of us have had that experience? Every last one of us have done that at some point or another. So today on the show, we're going to talk about how to not do that, <laughs> how to pay attention and how to use that to make a difference in your life. We are using this as uh, today's version of this is going to be talking about the people in your life, the people that have had an influence on you for good. And some of these people, we just, we don't see it. We take it for granted and we don't realize the power and influence they've had in our lives. Another ex embarrassing example of this is several of the people I'm going to talk about today it took me a minute before I realized how influential they've been on several decisions and several directions of my life. And I'm embarrassed by the fact that I was that kid who was talking about the person standing in front of me, not making the connection. So for example, my mom called me a few weeks ago and I've been doing a lot of podcast episodes about business. And she said, do you realize your grandma owned a business before it was common for women to own businesses. This is a shop where I have spent many, many hours. I have amazing memories in my grandma's shop, but I had not made that connection. I had not realized that this woman, my incredible grandmother, has had such a powerful influence on me as a woman who owned a business. I did not even acknowledge this, and I regret and I'm embarrassed that I didn't make that connection sooner, but now I'm glad that I have. And so I want you guys to think about some people in your life that maybe have had a different influence on you than perhaps you're giving them credit for, or perhaps you're not making that connection of how these people have influenced you. Or perhaps you've already made that connection, but you haven't told them. I always want you guys to walk away from the show with three habits. And the first habit is going to be recognizing the people who influence you. The second habit is going to be telling those people that you recognize that, that you're grateful for them and the influence that they've had on your life. 
This is a perfect time of year to do this sort of thing, to take a moment to be grateful for the amazing, amazing people in your life who've had a powerful influence on you and take the time to tell them. I especially need to tell or have this conversation with my grandmother as often as I can, because I don't know how much longer she'll be here with us. So I need to not lose these opportunities to have these meaningful and powerful connections and conversations of gratitude. She is an incredible example to me. This woman started a business in a tiny little country town because she saw a need. There was a need for the goods that she knew she could offer. So she got the building, she got the goods, and she was able to sell people shoes and clothes and a whole bunch of other things that they needed in this little town that they didn't have access to. This incredible woman, I'm so grateful for her example of seeing a need and filling it. This was a time of life, a time in history where there were not a lot of women who owned businesses. She did not let that stop her. She saw a need and she filled it. It didn't matter what the norm was. It didn't matter how normal people or normal norms would have done it. She knew she could do it and she did it. And she did it phenomenally well. I, like I said, I have many, many memories of her in her store helping lots and lots of people, making a massive difference in these people's lives and serving and offering something amazing to these people that they did not have without her. She's a phenomenal example to me of what entrepreneurship is and how to use what you have to serve other people. I'm so grateful for her and for her phenomenal example and her influence on me. Today, I want to take a few minutes and thank 10 different people in my life. I know I haven't thanked these people enough, and I just want to take a moment and do that really quickly here. And hopefully, as I'm talking about these different people in my life, this will help you guys to maybe see and jog your memory a little bit of some people that have had a great influence on you so that you can, again, practice those habits. I'll talk about the third habit towards the end, but the first two habits are going to be recognize those people who have had an influence on you and tell them that they have had an influence on you and you're grateful for that. Tell them, thank them, appreciate them. And then we'll talk about the third one at uh, later in the episode. So those 10 people that have had a powerful influence on me and my life and where I am right now, the person that I have become, we're going to start with my grandma. I already told you guys about her and I'm so grateful for her wonderful example to me. The next person is my dad. My dad is another fantastic example of seeing something, having a vision and making it happen. He's one of the most determined people I know. And if he wants something, he will do what it takes to make it happen. Such a good example of hard work and dedication and sticking to a dream. He has built a phenomenal business and a family and many, many other things in his life because when he sees something, he does what it takes to make it happen. So grateful for your example, dad. And then the next person is my mom. She is just one of the best people in this world. She loves with her whole heart and she is the most service oriented person I know. She has a very unique and God-given gift to be able to serve other people how they need to be served. She sets goals for herself to serve other people every single day. I know she looks for opportunities of ways she can serve every day. Such a powerful example of loving other people. But she also knows herself incredibly well, and she's able to spend her time doing things that she loves because she knows and loves herself as well. She's a fabulous example of knowing yourself and loving yourself and using that to also love other people. Two of my favorite scriptures are <laughs> love thy neighbor and, and uh, love God and compare or putting those two things together. She's a fabulous example of both those scriptures and love thy neighbor as thyself is my, one of my top favorite scriptures because that word as in the middle there. It doesn't say love thy neighbor before thyself or love thy neighbor after thyself or more than or less than. God wants us to love ourselves and other people. He made all of us and put us all here and put us together so that we can help each other out. That's why we were put here together. She's a fabulous example of that. And I'm so grateful for that. She also has had several different entrepreneur 
um, experiences her in her life. She's a fabulous example. She's the first person that showed me how to be successful working from home and raising a family. I thoroughly appreciate her example of that. And she's just a phenomenal person, phenomenal example to me in so many ways and has had a powerful, powerful influence on my life. She also showed me how to be a mom and how to be a best friend. She and I were very best friends all my whole growing up years, and we still are. I love you, mom. You're the best. Uh, thank you so much for your example and all that you've done for me. The next four people that I want to talk about are my siblings. They also had a powerful influence on my life, and I'm so grateful to each of them for being individually who they are. We five are very close, but we are very different. And so starting with my oldest sister, she is the nicest person I have ever met. If you know her, you know how kind and good and giving she is. She's just so kind. And I just moved into her town where she knows everybody. She's lived here for several years and everyone knows who she is. And my favorite part of introducing myself is saying that I'm her sister. And instantly, whoever I'm talking to says, oh, and they immediately love me because I am associated with her. It's phenomenal. People don't even need to know my name. They just need to know that I'm the sister of her name. <laughs> it's such a great thing. And she's such a good person. And I'm just so grateful for your example. And um, she's also a fabulous mother. I look up to her in so many ways on how to parent my kids because she's got such a good relationship with all of her kids. And I just admire you in so many, so many ways. And thank you for being who you are and doing what you do because you're such a good example to me. I'm so grateful for your influence in my life. And then there's my oldest brother. He is so fun. <laughs> he makes anything fun. You give him a bucket of dirt and he'll somehow make it fun. <laughs> I'm grateful for his example and showing us how to have a good time no matter what's going on. And, uh, and he's another entrepreneur and a business owner and has had a powerful influence on me and, and helping me to do this as well. I'm grateful for him being a parent as well. He's got a fantastic relationship with his kids and his wife as well. He's a really good husband and father. Such a good example of just well-rounded living and having a good time doing it. Thank you for your example, brother. And my next brother is such a good example of knowing who you are. He's been through some really difficult things in his life, and he has developed this confidence and this ability to know exactly who he is and chase that fully. It's amazing to me how he is able to spend time doing what he loves, much like my mom does as well. But he does things that he loves because he knows exactly who he is. I admire that so much. As a teenager, I really struggled to know who I was. And even into my 20s, I really struggled to know who I was. And I'm grateful that I now know who I am and I love who I am. But he's a fantastic example to me of knowing who you are and spending your time doing things that fill your soul. He is also a fabulous father and just a wonderful person. All of his, all, everyone who knows him as well will speak highly of him. He is a really, really just a great person and has had such a powerful influence on my life as well. So thank you, brother, for being so good in the world and for being so good to me. And then my sister, who is just the next one older than me, I'm the youngest of five, if you haven't done the math yet. And so my next sister is, she is super fun and she's super motivated and she just has these crazy, awesome, humongous dreams, but she doesn't just dream them. She does them. It's incredible to me. All of my kids and nieces and nephews, we all just look up to her because she's like my dad. She decides that she wants something and she'll do whatever it takes to make it happen. She's a powerful example of spending time making things happen that you want in your life. And I love that about her. She's such, she's done some incredible things in her life and she's super great to be around. I just really thoroughly enjoy her. So thank you for your influence on me and your ability to do the thing, <laughs> do the thing that you want to do and make it happen and have a great time doing it. You've got more great stories than anybody I know. <laughs> so thanks to my siblings and my parents and my grandmother. I have the best family in the whole wide world and I'm so grateful for them every single day. But I wanted to take a minute today to acknowledge them and give them a little bit of credit that I probably haven't given them before. And I need to give them more of. I'm practicing my own habits, starting my own habits here, you guys, along with you. And the next few people that I want to mention really quickly, um, my husband is the best person I know. He is the greatest person on this planet. I'm sorry that none of you got to marry him because I got the best one ever. <laughs> I'm the furthest thing from a princess, but he is Prince Charming in every possible way. 
I'm so grateful for him every single day. And he is, he's, I mean, he puts up with me and all of my crazy, but he doesn't just put up with it. He supports it and he validates me and he's so good to me. And uh, I just love this guy in every single way. And I'm grateful for you every single day. And he too is the best husband and father. He's such a good dad to our kids. He's so fun. And I'm just, again, grateful for him every single day. Thank you for your powerful influence on me and upon our kids. Speaking of kids, I need to thank my kids. They have had, they, they are the reason I am who I am. And of all the titles that I hold and all the descriptions I can give about myself, those kids, being their mom is my favorite. I love when people at the school or in the community, they ask me, oh, are you so-and-so's mom? I'm, I'm never prouder than when I say, yes, yes, I am their mom. <laughs> I love being asked if I'm somebody's mom. And if I, I love my four kids. They're so good to me. They're just wonderful people. And I love spending time with them. They're so super fun. And they really care about me. And they are really good at showing me love in the ways that I need to be loved. And I hope they know that I try very hard to show them love in the way they need to be loved. They're just such wonderful kids. And I'm lucky that I get to spend every single day with them. The last person, number 10 on my list, is my very best friend in the whole wide world. You know who you are. We've been friends since we were three. And this woman, she's amazing. She's been through some tough stuff in her life. And she's a great example to me of staying optimistic and just keep swimming. <laughs> I just think you are the best. I'm so grateful for you. So grateful for the person you turned me into. <laughs> you and I've spent more hours together than anybody because I've known you since I was three. Other than my parents and my siblings, it's it's the longest relationship I have. So I'm so grateful for you and for all that you do. She also helps me a lot as a person, as a mom, as a business owner. She's about, She's a big part of my business. And I just think she is I just think you're the best. I love you so much. And I'm so grateful for you and everything you do for me and everything you do for everybody else. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. She's got spectacular kids. I think all of our kids are betrothed. They'll all marry each other. It'll be great. <laughs> I guess not all of them, but two of them definitely. <laughs> her son and her daughter are going to marry my son and my daughter. It's going to be great. All right, guys. So uh, today I just wanted to share some people in my life and I didn't get their permission, so I didn't tell you any of their names. <laughs> but to those of you, those 10 of you that I just talked about, um, I'm grateful for you and I'm grateful for the powerful influence you've had on me and on this world. You guys are all wonderful people and I'm so blessed to be able to associate you and be associate with you and claim you as my family and my friends. And uh, to those of you listening to this show, to my listeners, I'm so grateful that you are here as well. I'm grateful that I am able to share some of the experiences that I've had and be able to get the responses from you guys that it's making a difference and that these things are helping you. I absolutely love knowing that something that I have struggled with and come through, I can help you with, come through it a little bit easier. And that's such a gift. And it's such a, um, it's, it's my why. It's why I do what I do. Um, because I absolutely love the things that I have taken the time to study, the human body, the mind, and all of those things that I teach about habits and all of that. That's been time well spent for me because it's super fulfilling for me to know that. And those things have had a powerful influence on my life as well. I only teach these things because they've changed who I am and they've made me who I am and they've gotten me through some really difficult things in my life. Um, again, to those 10 people, thank you so much for who you are and what you do and for um, affecting me the way that you have. And if it's, if it's done this much for one person, imagine the effect you guys have had on the rest of the world and the rest of the people you've associated with. Um, a few other uh, suggestions that I have for you guys to jog your memories and jog your, your perceptions of people that maybe you could reach out to and tell them thank you. Oh, two other people, actually eight other people, seven other people just came to mind. Um, I just want to thank my in-law family really quickly as well. Um, my husband's family is phenomenal. They're so much fun and they're just, they're some of the most generous people I know. 
I absolutely love my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. You guys are the best people ever. And I'm so grateful to have you. I know a lot of in-law relationships are a struggle and I'm so grateful every day that mine is not. I consider you guys as close to me as my parents and my family as well. And to all of my husband's siblings, you guys are the best. And we're so grateful that you get to be our aunts and uncles of our wonderful kids and that we get to spend so much time with you. His family is also very close. So we get to see them a lot as well. I love all of our family time together. It's so, so fun, whether I'm with my family or his family. I absolutely just feel loved and I feel blessed that they are the people that I get to spend my time with. <clears throat> One of the quotes that I like is, you are the sum total of the five people you spend the most time with. I just listed off about 20 people that I spend time with. And if I am any piece of those 20 people, I'm grateful. <laughs> I absolutely love those people that I get to spend a lot of time with and they have a powerful influence on me. And I encourage you guys to do that as well. Spend time with people you admire. Spend time with people who make you feel good, who push you and drive you to chase your own dreams and become the people and the person you want to be. Spend time with people who push you to the next level. I also like the quote, if you're the smartest guy in the room, or if you're the best looking person in the room, or the most successful in the room, you're in the wrong room. <laughs> so get yourself associated with some people who push you and who help you and love you and encourage you and support you. I am a testament of what that looks like. And I am so grateful to those people in my life. The three habits that I want you to walk away from or walk away from this episode with are, first of all, acknowledge and recognize the people who have had an influence in your life. Second, tell them, tell them thank you. This show that I'm doing right here is not a big enough thank you. And I am uh, committing to you guys, the listeners, that I'm going to go have these conversations in person with each of these people. And then the third piece of this is to use their influence for good. Take the influence that these people have had on your life and push yourself to be better. Take the things about them that you admire and implement them in your own life. Take the examples of good actions and good purpose and good living in, that you, these wonderful people have had in your life, whether they're your family or other people, it doesn't necessarily have to be people you're related to. Take the example of the people you care about and the people that you love and the people you admire and put that into your life. Do something with it. Knowledge is power, but only if you use that knowledge. Knowing the people that you know and having the associations that you have is knowledge. That is power. Use that power to become better yourself and to help the world to become a better place. And the last part of that is one more person that you should definitely acknowledge what they're doing and the powerful influence they're having on you is you. Recognize how far you've come. Recognize where you were and what of those admirable qualities of those people you admire, you have already implemented. How far have you come? How much better are you now than you were? And what experiences do you have that you're able to share? Recognize how awesome and amazing and incredible you are. And use that powerful influence to help other people as well. Keep pushing yourselves, you guys. Keep thanking the people around you, and keep moving toward progress. Progress is not a straight line. It is very much a wavy, up and down, wild ride, roller coaster experience. But as long as you keep moving forward and you're facing the right direction, you're facing the direction that is moving you forward towards your goals, ambitions, and dreams, you're exactly where you need to be. All right, you guys, that's all that I've got for today. Remember to acknowledge the wonderful people in your life, thank them and tell them how wonderful they are and use their powerful influence in your life to change your life and the lives of those around you. Because remember, when you succeed, the people around you also succeed. And if we're all succeeding, the world will be a better place. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for coming here. And uh, I'm Susie B., if you want to find more of this kind of stuff, or if you want to reach out, have conversations with me, you can find me at suzybhabits.com or at suzybelife on any social media platform. And of course, you can find the Habits and Humor podcast, the Habits and Humor Facebook group, and the Habits and Humor show on the Win Win Women TV network. Thanks for being here, you guys. Have a fabulous week, and uh, I'll catch you next time.